Welcome dear grade 6. Hope so you all are fine. Grade 6 beta we are going to read our next topic on page number 108. Cartilage. Cartilage is basically soft bone and that can be bent. Cartilage is present in your ear. When you touch your ear you can feel it is a soft bone. This bone is the cartilage and it is also present in your nose region. When you touch your nose, you can see that this bone can be bent and this is soft bone. And they help in movement and reduce the pressure on the bone during jerky movements. And they prevent the wear and tear of joints. Next is the muscles. When one rotate the hand, or bend it the bones at the joints come close or move around like you see if we our hand is like this when we bend it bones become close to each other and then move away in this way and then how this movement is uh, um, happening this movement is happening because because there is bending of bones Try closing your first heart and then folding your arms toward the shoulder or try to breathing in and out with force and observe your chest and abdomen. When you feel that this is uh, your chest or abdomen becomes swallow, become up. The abdomens are the muscle. These are the tissue that help in contraction when you bring the arm back in the straight position they relax thus the movement of bones are brought about the contraction and relaxation of muscle here you can see the picture of contract contraction and relaxation you can see here biceps relax you can see and triceps contracts and become shortened and then biceps contract and become shortened and triceps relax and become lengthen this is the contraction and relaxation when biceps contracts tricep relax and when tricep contracts biceps relax and this movement is also you can observe in your uh, in your arm move your arm forward and in this way then back in this way you can feel contraction and relaxation in your bone <clears throat> then we are going to read about uh, um, other animals how in other animals movement happen like if we talk about earthworm and in earthworm how movement happen by the contraction and relaxation of their muscles rings present on the body of earthworm and uh, rings contain the muscles and when um, uh, earthworm has two sets of muscles one is long and thin and the other make it fat when the muscles contract and relax then um, earthworm can move forward and in this way they can uh, make their movement then we are talking about snail Sna how snail moves snail basically moves in a muscular on a muscular foot like you see in this picture snail have muscular foot and when uh, it come to the ground it contract its foot and make the movement forward here I will show you a video for the movement of snails. You can see here how snails move. How do snails move? Well, snails have a highly muscular foot that is adapted for traveling over hard surfaces. So snails such as this land snail move by gliding along their muscular foot through succeeding waves of muscular contraction that move up and down the foot from their tail to their head. Now these waves of contraction can be clearly seen when a land snail is crawling on a transparent surface such as a window. Snails also secrete mucus to help prevent desiccation and drying out and mucus also helps it to move by reducing friction, making the ground a slippier and easier surface to travel on. 
meaning that snails can even crawl over sharp objects such as blades without getting injured. to read about cockroach and cockroach also walk jump and fly with the help of uh, three pair of legs three pairs mean six legs and uh, it also have a hard jointed external covering that encloses the muscles and organ of the insects and it has several joints which uh, support and uh, which help in the movement cockroach also have wings and with the help of wings cockroach fly or jump and then this birds we will uh, read in the next lecture you have to do reading from page number 108 to page number 109 have a great day dear students allah hafiz